All right. Now, you got a bunch of these little cutouts here. You've taken them, hopefully, sorted them into, eh, not much going on and cool stuff going on. And eventually, you figured out something that looks interesting. This is what I have. It's upside down the way I like it. I like it that way. Why does it go together? I don't know. I like the way some of the things line up. Weird shapes it makes. All right. Next, what you have to do is trace it over onto a final paper. This is painting paper. This is paper we could paint on. Um, so make sure you're not doing it on the, the crappy one. And now I put it right back on the square. I put it any way I want, really. If it looks better in some other way, look around see how it looks good for me i think i planned it this way i'm gonna the paper i made for you guys is a little smaller than the other part and that's fine let things go off the the edges figure out how it's gonna fit that looks good to me now i'm just gonna start tracing as i do i want to do it more and more careful not more and more sloppy also though, if I want to change it and make it more simple as I go, I think that's what I'm looking to do. You guys will want to use a gray Sharpie because that's all I have left for the main class. I got a black Sharpie so you can see it better. And because, well, I paid for the black Sharpies. So there, all right, where's this going? I kinda... See how these don't connect? When I draw it, I'm gonna make them connect. That's more interesting, there we go. Remember, the Cubists were all about exaggerating, simplifying, distorting things. So if things look kind of distorted, who cares? That part went off the page, but I like it. So I'm going to keep it on the page. And that means the circle I have inside it needs to be a little smaller. Change it as you go, it doesn't matter. All we wanted was information that seems to look sort of like the object. And then make this interesting drawing where it's all mashed up. All right. Hopefully I can put this on. Now look, if you can see right here, there's all kinds of things going on in there. I'm not gonna trace all that because you guys have to paint every single shape a different color or a different texture or something. So do not make a bunch of little shapes in here. You don't want that. I'm gonna connect that to that. I like that right there, why not? I'm also, I see this and it ends right there. I'm gonna make it run right into that. Now I've closed that shape. That's what I'm gonna show you in a little bit too. Once I get this all on here. Right. Let me see if I can speed it up. You guys should take your time more. But for the purposes of a video, I'm gonna do it faster. And I'm also the bomb, dude. Watch me go. Dang. What's going on there? Now this comes to here. I love that Sharpie sound. Much more info in here again and I just don't want to I want to simplify it don't make a bunch of little shapes I told you guys that at the beginning and I see a bunch of you guys still making a bunch of little itty bitty shapes you're gonna have to paint in a jillion shapes just like the first project with the patterns I told you guys not to make little shapes otherwise you got to put a pattern in every single one and you guys know how that turned out it's a weird thing right there, I like that. I see a line that's going like this, going between two parts of the drawing. That's kind of cool. I don't know where that's gonna go later. I'll need to close off the shape somehow, but I'll figure it out. All right.
If there's stuff that you don't like, leave it out.